I think one of the most compelling reasons for a company to invest resources in an ethics program is not only to satisfy legal requirements, but also to attract and retain exceptionally talented people. Almost a year ago, we started out on our uh, journey with Lockheed on a mentorship program. And the goal was for us to get mentored by the best of the best. Creating an ethics program is fairly, you can keep it simple or you can make it very difficult for you, right? The bare bone basics, if you want to put a program in play, is starts with having a proper code of conduct, having accountability of the outputs and things you produce out, having a well-defined documented reporting process and a communication process to go along with it. After joining this program, you know, we did realize, keep it simple, keep it easy. Start small baby steps, build something which is, which you can follow easily, adapt, and then just grow from there. I enjoyed uh, understanding DCR's culture, and I commend your commitment for creating a code of conduct booklet as well as an effective ethics program. We do want to take this opportunity to really thank our mentors and the um, ethics program at Lockheed. As we were going close, they spent a lot of time with us, and time was really important for us. If anyone is interested in resources to help them create an ethics program, I encourage you to visit our website at LockheedMartin.com. You will see many resources there that's available. And the good thing is all of this information is free of charge. So please take advantage of these free resources to help you with your ethics program so we can raise the bar for ethics and business conduct in the defense and aerospace industry and beyond.